I am aware of it and I will not allow my own clothes to leave my closet. Okay, yes, I have clothes in my dresser and my nightstand in my closet, but they will not go into the guest room closet or that, the boys room closet. You know, like, you know as well as I mind, know, what? the guest room closet has clothes of yours in it. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect topic. Okay. It's apropos for the day and the time, let's talk about the hazards of hoarding. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am trying to understand. <laughs> Uh, wh where did this come from? Well, well, several places. Number one, uh, we had a flood in New Jersey. Okay. Water got in the basement at mom's house okay. and at my uncle's house. Mm -hmm. And we got a text today from my cousin who's there. And the text is ridiculous. So let me pull that up. But I mean, if you had some personal edge on hoarding that you thought maybe <laughs> we should address, I'm, I'm okay with that I as well. I thought daggers were flying. <laughs> I, I, hey, you know. Um, so... Let's not talk about me. Let's address <laughs> <laughs> the text messages. All right, my cousin says, SOS, I'm trying to get this stuff out of my dad's basement and he's being ridiculous. I hear him saying, damn, that's some good shit. Or damn, we might use this. Negro, there are dishes you got as a wedding present in 84. <laughs> if you are using by now, man, what makes you think, never mind, <laughs> let me be humble. <laughs> then he goes on to say later, your mom is here, meaning my Your mom yeah. is my mom is there. He goes, thank God. Me, Dad, can we take the forty-year-old baby stroller? Dad, no, we might need it. Me, face palm. Your mom, Vincent. Vincent says, okay. <laughs> Hoarding is real. Hoarding is real. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. I have my own issues with it, but I am working on those I, because I see that they're real. Um, I'm not at holding on t to any of those things. Like, we, we don't have a stroller. We don't have any, we do not have anything of the babies. Mm -hmm. Possibly a shoe. That's I really not don't actually know true else. because you have kept some things. There's a teddy bear, teddy bear around here, there's a blanket around here, there's a bin full of baby things. Between the three of them, though, right? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Right. But th th that's better than, you know, like a bin for each of them, which is ridiculous. This all reminds me very much of the show Hoarders and the show My 600 Pound Life, which, <laughs> which I draw on the same ilk, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So My 600 Pound Life is about 600 pound plus people who get on the show and then if they're accepted can do the, the uh, surgery to get gastric bypass and, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And yeah. it comes with money. There's mm -hmm. like money behind it and, and all that stuff. And if somebody who needs to lose, let's say, 50 pounds in order to be healthy, mm -hmm. sees my 600 pound life, they could be sitting there saying to themselves, oh man, I'm not as bad as that my person. My situation is not that bad. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. And the hoarder show, you've seen the hoarder show. Yes. The hoarder show, you can't, like it's disgusting. Yes, it is. It's, it's vermin, it's walkways, you can't walk through the hallway and all that stuff. So yeah. if you're a hoarder, but you see that show, you'd be like, man, I'm not that bad. And then you minimize True. your own hoarding. True. Uh, but I think that you, for example, I know that I have a tendency to, let's not, okay, I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> I'm not talking about you, but if you want to keep bringing you up. <laughs> Would you say that I'm a hoarder? I'm saying you have a lot of stuff. I have tendencies. I like to shop. Okay. Um, and I typically, typically will buy one thing in a couple different colors. But I have the ability to let go of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, and because I see, like, I get the love of shopping for my mother and I see what that looks like over, you know, 60 years, I am aware of it and I will not allow my own clothes to leave my closet so like okay yes i have clothes in my dresser and my nightstand in my closet but they will not go into the guest room closet or that, the boys room closet you know like, you know as well as mind, i know what the guest room closet has clothes of yours in it <laughs> okay well <laughs> 
few. <laughs> <laughs> Insert the give. You're a damn lie. <laughs> just a few. Just a few clothes. It's not even clothes. It's just, just, just jackets. It's shoes, boots. <laughs> no, those are going to sell. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not storing them there to wear them. Maybe my jackets, but that's it. Okay, right. <laughs> okay. So, all right, listen, what I'm trying to say <laughs> is I don't have other closets in the house that contain, like, the whole closet. Right, you don't have any closet. Contains. The whole closet is just up. Yes. Woo, I had to back out of that one. Mm. Um, <laughs> but I'm working on it. So, in terms of, like, I like moisturizers and shoe. Okay, sh- let's leave shoes alone. But, like, moisturizers, skincare, things like that that I use often, instead of... Um, you know, accumulating and buying more before I run out because I think that's my issue. Like, I don't ever want to run out. So I constantly buy more. So what I have decided was I recognize the hoarding and I'm not going to buy anything else until I have run out of everything that I have. So I understand where you're coming from and I see it and I am actively working on it. That's good. Yeah. It's a it's a multi-part issue. I feel the need to bring up Gallagher who famously talked about, he has a comic bit about stuff. Okay. And so I would okay. say everybody oh, should look up I know what you're talking the about. Gallagher stuff <laughs> That's funny. bit, which is great. And then also the other part, I look at money like the code behind the matrix. Like mm-hmm. you might see a white jacket and a black cat and a house and a bunch of guns. Mm-hmm. I see the green code, and the green code is dollars. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So whenever I see hoarding, you, you're thinking about, well, I don't have a lot of this, that, or stuff, or you know, other kind of stuff. We don't have baby stuff, and I'm like, but it's all stuff, and it costs money. And then if it didn't get used, that money is gone to waste, and then it gets put out because it's old or like it's been replaced with some new thing, and that's just money that went out. So and, you're, you're seeing like the little dollar signs with the with the wings? Yeah, exactly. All I see is dollar signs with wings. And the other part is, it's not just the loss of the money. Because you might even be like, oh, well, I, I spent X amount of dollars in this given year. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. compared to what I made that year, it's not a lot. But I look at it in terms of how much of that money would be worth today had we simply invested it. So if there's, um, making, I'm just going to round a number. It, does, it has no... It could be super low. It could be super high. Okay. If there's $10,000 worth of shopping that happened of disposable goods, clothes, shoes, stuff like that, and um, in that same year, $2,000 worth at retail got thrown away, mm-hmm. that's money that we didn't use, right? And right. that, that $2,000 that could have been invested might be worth $4,000. might be worth $2,500. It would be worth more than zero. And that's my that's where I'm always seeing it. It's like, you know, there's the one thing of the space and the things, because don't nobody want to move a bunch of stuff right, when agree. you move from house to house or whatever. But then it's also like the power of time and money and how many options you want to have going down the line. Like you'd rather have the option to be able to go on your vacation or to, you know, work less that month or whatever. But I spent it on shoes that I wore not enough and threw out. Hmm. I don't throw out shoes, but okay. You understand. Yeah, I do. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I get it. On another level, it's not about you. Mm-hmm. Both of our parents hoard. What we would call hoarding. Yeah, but I think that they're like we are. I think that they are aware of it. You know? I don't know. And I don't know because I'm not that age. I Now that I'm even talking it out for the first time, I wonder if a lot of that stuff is attached to tactile memory. Mm-hmm. Like, do you... Do you keep that sweater because you remember what you did in that sweater? Or do you keep that thing because you remember what it makes you feel like that moment? Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I'm going to have to ask about that one. I don't know. Hmm. But either way, a lot of stuff becomes fire hazard, becomes Just heavy to crap. move. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, makes it hard to move. Um, for example, when looking for another house, because it's come up in conversation, I like probably the number one thing at the top of the list for me is how li- how big is the closet? I know that sounds ridiculous, you know, in the scheme of things, but that's really important to me because I need space. It's not ridiculous when I show a, if I show a picture of your actual closet <laughs> now. It's not ridiculous. Let's get off me. Bedroom size closet. Continue. I agree with you. Hoarding is an issue, but I am actively working on it now are our parents actually working on it i don't know so it's a two-part question 
how do we recognize the behaviors in ourselves and make real change now? Because like to say I'm actively working on it mm -hmm. means less intake, more output. How do I reduce the amount of stuff that I currently have? Mm -hmm. Which unfortunately means a loss of value uh, of, of some things or a loss sure. of past money spent. Mm -hmm. But how do I limit new spending for new stuff so that I can have less stuff, yeah. like, weight, like weight loss? Yeah. And then the other part is... You have to change your behavior. Yeah. Because I understand where my shopping behavior comes from. It comes from the amount of time that I spend working when I am not working because we don't go out because I'm a homebody. I, when I'm not working, I am shopping and not necessarily purchasing, but just online shopping. So that would come from changing the behavior, just like weight loss, change the behavior. Yeah. Yeah. The other part is how do we understand our parents and that issue and decode that so that we can be helpful to them without being badgering? So those are the two things that I board hmm. on when I think about hoarding, you know, like how do I help detach you from these things? Because it's very hard to move somebody, let's say, from, you know, a single family home that's completely full right. to a smaller single family home or a condo or, yeah, or condo. something like that. Yeah. Because there's got to be a there's got to be a cleaving from the stuff. Absolutely. And how do you detach them from all of those things? Right. Yeah. Right. And, and you want them to be a part of it. Like either you have to be a part of it mom dad uh, or you're a victim of it like either i'm gonna just be cold-hearted about it and say this is how much room we got and i'm just gonna wait you know cut stuff off right or you're gonna be a part of the process and actively engage and say you know okay okay i'm gonna today i'm going to identify 20 items 10 yeah. items whatever you know maybe taking a picture is um, a way of being able to let go of some things you know what i'm saying like i understand touching of a sweater but can we just take the sweater throw it on the table, photograph front and back, and then toss the sweater. Yeah. That way you at least have a picture of it because the reality is you're never gonna wear that sweater. Yeah. And how often, if I had not pulled it out of this box, how many times a year are you pulling this sweater out to look at it and touch it? Never. So let's get a picture of it and keep it pushing. Yeah, it's the beauty of the digital age. You know, you can take pictures of things, take video of things, talk about things on video that make you remember yeah. or whatever. And that's, you know, that's where we are now. It's different than where we were a generation ago. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. So I'd like some help on the hoarding issue. Uh, I'd like to help. I, I'm not talking about you. Oh, just I'm just saying I'd like to know more. <laughs> I think in okay. general, what I'd like to do with some of these topics is I want to learn more. And folks out here are experts and stuff. So, you know, if anybody happens to be watching and, and they're an expert in the thing, right. I'd love to hear. I, wanna, I want ideas. to learn more. Yeah, I agree with that. I would love to. I, I feel like I already know I need to change my behavior. But if someone has a better idea other than me changing my behavior, I would absolutely welcome that. I, just as a last bit, like if I were the dream scenario, mm -hmm. I would love for you to get more education on buying stocks or other assets so that you could shop, still shop, but be shopping for things that increase in value <laughs> like uh, instead of things that decrease in value. If you could shop for gold, shop for um, stocks, shop for crypto shop for houses investment properties mm -hmm. that you could still engage that incredible superpower of shopping <laughs> but buy you things said, that would last us forever you said dream scenario and i immediately was thinking like dream closet so it's hilarious how your keywords <laughs> are we're using them in two different ways yeah completely good <laughs> let's keep a open uh an open edge on this conversation because i think we have a if we learn some stuff we can do we can make phenomenal change. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that goes. <laughs>